every Christian should seek sanctity and apostolate. And in order to attain these goals we need formation above all else. For our sanctity we need doctrine and for the apostolate, doctrine. And to acquire doctrine, we need time, the right place, and the right means. Let's not expect extraordinary revelations from God when He has no reason to grant them to us. For He does give us specific human means, study and work. You must be formed. You must study. Like that you will be preparing yourselves for your present and future sanctity and for your apostolate among men and women. Have you seen how they prepare the leaven, how they keep it covered up, at a certain temperature, so that they can later mix it with the dough? I count on you as on a powerful motor to give an impulse to the apostolic work throughout the world. No one of you is ineffective. You are all full of effectiveness as long as you fulfill the norms, and study, and work, and obey. You are most effective because you have the effectiveness of God when you become divine through your dedication, like Christ, when He emptied Himself. And we empty ourselves, we apparently lose our freedom, while becoming entirely free with the freedom of the children of God. Formation, then, in order to spread doctrine and for your personal sanctity. Formation for the necessary length of time, in the right place, with the right means. But thinking about the whole world, all mankind, thinking about all souls. St. Josemaria. Formation is not rounded and complete until we put into practice the advice we receive and the resolutions we make. To learn something and not to practice it is worse than not having learned it at all. This unity of life is necessary for all, this is the coherence of evangelizers. And we are all evangelizers. I can say the creed by heart and I can memorize all that we believe, but if my life is not coherent with that, it is of no use. What attracts people is the testimony of a life entirely lived for Christ, the witness of coherence. We Christians must live what we say. We should not pretend to live like Christians and then live like worldly people or pagans. Be coherent. Imitate the saints. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that 